Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. Today is November 22nd and I'm picking up where I left off trying to get testing on the Save File dialog, which has been a real pain in the butt, but sort of a necessary first step before we can get into the persistence, which is the more interesting stuff I want to get to. So, oh, I, and I'll tell you, I'll be so happy to get rid of, get out of swing for, and do simpler testing. Um, I think we've been in swing since episode 19, so the vast majority of the work we've done has been all swing and UI testing work, which is the most painful form of test-driven development I know. So it's nice to have done it. You guys get to see all of this, but uh, I tell you, I will be happy to be done, or temporarily done, out of it for a while. Anyway, um, so we've got tests sort of working. They're not cleaning up after themselves properly, but... Uh, the great god of process destruction has taken care of it for us. And um, i kind of given up on that, so I'm willing to just let that go. Uh, if any of you see why my dialogues and frames aren't disappearing, I'd love to hear about it. It's probably something straightforward, like having the wrong reference or something like that. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so we've got... We, we're. Right now I'm doing a bit of a spike in my test code where I'm displaying the dialog and then confirming that it has been display, displayed. Now, our actual code here, I think what we're, it's been so long since I was in this code, I don't remember the details, but I believe what we're trying to do is we want the save as dialog to come up and we're, we're testing to see that we're actually showing it. So in our production code, in application frame, when we do the save as menu item, we want it to show that file save dialog. It's not. So we need a test saying that the file save as dialog has shown up. Um, now the problem is we can't just say, is the dialog visible? Because it doesn't show up right away. We've got to run it asynchronously and it's not going to show up right away. So instead, we need to um, wait for it to show up. And in this case, I think this is kind of an, an odd one. Normally what I do is I just loop until the dialog is visible um, and then run the real test, but that is the real test, that the dialog is visible. So um, I think what, but if the dialog doesn't show up, we'll hang forever and that's not good either. So I think what I want to do here is say that um, we'll sleep in 10 millisecond increments and um, if it doesn't show up after a thousand milliseconds, that is one second, we'll assume that it's failed. Let's try that. That's a bit a bit weird, but let's um, let's try it. So int time elapsed equals zero. Uh, while time elapsed uh, let's see, no, we'll say do while true. Yeah, I don't use this construct very often, so I wasn't sure if I'd gotten it right. So do while time elapsed is less than 1,000. We're going to sleep for 10 milliseconds. Um, and then we're going to increment 10. But actually, let's just make this a start time. Now let's let's start out simpler than that. We'll increment by 10. Um, and then we'll loop while the dialog is not visible. If we uh, dialog is visible, test passed. And what we'll do here is we'll say if time elapsed is greater than 1000, then uh, fail dialog should be displayed. That is not clean. That's really not the kind of, that's, I don't like that code. 
at all. But I think it will work. So it's a good starting point. So we've got swing loaded up. Yeah, that worked great. That worked great. And just out of curiosity, how much time elapsed? Twenty milliseconds. So somewhere between ten and twenty. Eighteen. So it takes eighteen milliseconds on my computer for that to pop up. Um, I think it's a reasonable bet that it will pop up within a second on most computers. Now we do have some magic numbers here. Um, that's okay. <laughs> I need, maybe I'll fix those as I clean this code up. So the first thing that comes to mind is rather than having the time elapsed variable, um, maybe we can just say date time dot now. Wait, no, that's JavaScript, isn't it? Where is it? Date. There we go. Date dot. I think new date. Oh, come on. How do we do now? Well, what I was trying to do here was um, uh, <laughs> just get the current timestamp. Sure, there's something really simple and dumb. Um, uh, it's not what I'm looking for. Oh, I used to do this all the time. I'm just I'm just having a silly brain mis problem. Um, come on, what is it? Yeah. Okay. So that we do have a. Sorry about that. I'm just having a little trouble. Okay. And if we say get time. That will give us milliseconds. And there we can say that's the elapsed time.
Okay. Obviously, it has been a couple of months since I programmed because this is fairly pathetic. Yeah, there we go. And of course, we don't even need to sleep. We'll, we can just do a spin loop, which is not very efficient, but um, will tell us exactly how long this is taking. Oh, look, it takes a lot longer when we do a spin loop because it's spending so much time running through that loop, it's not actually getting to open the dialog. Isn't that interesting? The reason I'm playing with this is because I hate slow tests. I want this to go as quickly as possible. Um, but I think the actual date time test is, is costing too much. Um, Let's try this. Hmm, interesting. Well, I think I think sleeping for ten milliseconds is what we want. Now, um, to prove that this works, I won't set the dialog to visible and I'll run the test again. Now it should say dialog should be displayed. Yeah, that actually happens at a fairly reasonable time frame. So, now we have our test. Um, not the cleanest test in the world. Um, but it's there, and we'll clean it up as we go. Okay, so yeah. So now what we can do is we can actually press the menu button, and rather than displaying the dialog here, we will actually press the menu button. So it's going to fail because we're not pressing the menu button. Um, then we'll say save as menu item dot do click yep. dialog should be displayed and now here we will say um, new file dialog um, exactly how did that work right there. We'll want that. And then we'll want to display it. Now, this will work, I believe, but it's not quite ready yet. Um, well, for one thing, it's not passing. Why not? Oh. I think I've run across that problem before. Okay. It's not going to work because we don't actually have a pointer to the dialog. We don't have a reference to the dialog. Yeah. Dialog cannot be resolved. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get a null pointer exception or something like that. So, I guess that's the problem to figure out next: is how do we want to get access to that dialog? Do we want to pull it out? Um, as we do with our new menu item test where we just pull it out of the frames. We want to expose it somehow from here. That's, um, that's the design question we're going to face next. I feel like we're making good progress on this though. Finally gotten through the roadblock. So um, thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.